Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Ai Chongqing's channel. This is Echo. Today's live stream is about me getting on the autonomous bus and experiencing this self-driving tour on the street. Here, I'm now in the high-tech zone of Chongqing. This place is like the trial, the road trials, where the self-driving bus has undergone street inspection before entering this road trails. So it means the autonomous bus have passed virus tests with excellent results. So it should be a really safe uh, tour today. I was informed about the station, about some information, some technology information about this uh, smart bus stop, but I'm not really sure about this information. So I'm gonna ask Mr. Zhang. Hey, Mr. Zhang. So he is like the engineer of the uh, self-driving bus. He's gonna show us some information about the bus stop. So do you know what is the screen is? The screen shows the environment of this bus. Of this bus stop. Here is like a guide to show you how to get on the bus. You have to scan this code scan this code to get a QR code to generate a QR code and to register it on your name your ID card your cell phone numbers so that you can get on the card the people under 18 cannot get on so only if you are adult you can get on the bus it's very exciting temperature test okay it's already scaled so I wonder why is there still drivers uh, in the cell. Basically, there are two reasons. Uh -huh. The first one is to obey the regulation of the government. Uh -huh. The government requires to assign a driver uh -huh. on this seat. Uh, uh -huh. to, and the second thing is to, uh, it's because of the uh, technology is not very perfect. Uh -huh. So uh, the driver needs to uh, hand over the uh, vehicle in case of some emergency. Okay. Okay. So as we can see, the driver is not operating the car right now. See, he is only here because of the country law, country policy, to make sure how it could run really successful and safe. We got this kind of map from our monitoring platform, right? Mm. Yeah. So they collect those information yeah. on the road yeah. about those road events about those passengers flows, about the, how many cars on the road, about what situations on the land, right? Mm -hmm. So they collect those information and they um, send those information through this visual ring, over the visual range, mm -hmm. so that we can see it on the screen. So the passengers always can see this and feel safe. So it was de developed by Baidu and Jinlong, right, jointly. Everybody knows Baidu is like a, one of the biggest internet giant company in China. And Jinlong is like one of the uh, biggest automobile vehicles yeah. company in China, right? Yeah. So they corroborate this, this whole uh, uh, type of the car, right, driving right, car. Right. So we take this. Yeah. So it says this car can complete autopilot tasks on most roads in virtually all weather conditions and has overall performed to an excellent level. So no matter no matter the weather is raining or Sunday or any condition. Mm, heavy reading not good. Okay. But I think in Chongqing where we we do have some 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 days that will be heavy raining. Right. So so is it gonna be a challenge for self driving car? Uh, mostly we uh, recommend to Stop the car, stop the operation. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. But we're looking forward to deal with it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. To deal with this situation. Mm -hmm. I remember that Ch China is like one of the latest country to start the research and production of the self-driving bus, not like the US or the European countries, right? But I think we, ch we have achieved a lot 
mm. in this short term, mm. right? Mm. We started we, we start the self driving research and production since when? Uh, since twenty、uh, sixteen. Wow, it's just five years. Five years. Yeah, five years. Five years, and we already could take on the self driving bus in Chongqing.、Mm. That's really. A big success. So you guys designed the zebra、right. crossing and the ramps,、yeah. everything on the road, and also the monitoring platform, right? right, right. And Baidu and Jinlong just offered their design products of the car. Right, right. Okay, so so their works about this vehicles. Okay, so but the whole systems were like four parts,、oh, right. bus stop, you know. You also designed the bus stop. Right, right. Wow, that's amazing. That lighter is twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars for one lighter, for one lighter, guys. And we have four lighters on the, this car, so it's beyond my imagination. So expensive, but but it's so steady, you know. So comfortable to sit on. I wish we have this all over Chongqing. I wish we can take on the bus, you know. So it stopped. Because of the the red line, see, and I'm really amazed by how this stopped. This stopped so steady, without shaking. Before this, I never think the smart technology would be so close to my life. You mean I'm?、Uh, you know, I've I've been experienced uh, the uh, smart medical test. To get my new driving lessons, you know, in the big, in a little, you know, a little room, so I get in. I don't have to ask the doctor to get a test for me. I just use the machine. That's like the the first smart technology that I experienced in the real life. From after, besides that, I just experienced some high technologies in the, you know, the smart expo、uh, in China, you know. So I think. This smart bus, self-driving bus application in the high-tech zone of Chongqing, is really impressive and、uh, gives us the hope of our future life.